Hey guys, what is up? I just bought my Chromecast from Staples. I, I paid about 44 bucks with it after tax. And uh, I'm going to review it. I'm going to try it out. Hook it up, connect, you know, make sure everything's working right. I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. And then I'm going to tell you what I think of it at the end of this video. So I'm going to unbox it right now. I'm unboxing Chromecast. And there it is. It's kind of heavy. It doesn't have that hollow feeling that I was actually expecting. Let's see what else is in the box. In the box you have a USB wall charger. That is 0.2 amps, so you don't really want to charge your cell phones with this. It's only it's only 0.2 amps. I think a cell phone is about two amps. It needs about two amps for a recharge. And this is the extender, USB extender, uh, HDMI extender. So if you have like a uh, TV or an external monitor that has a cramped up HDMI port, you want to be using this because that's just not going to fit in if you have what I just mentioned. Uh, anyways, we're going to go to the setting up of the Chromecast. So here I'm going to be using a computer monitor with my Chromecast and because the HDMI wire is just up there, it's in a really awkward area, I'm going to have to use the extender that I was talking about because I don't want to just shove that up there it's not it's not even gonna fit see what I'm saying even if I try it's not gonna have to physically damage the Chromecast in order for it to work so luckily this comes in this comes with the Chromecast and what you would do is you would match that up obviously and there now you can you would be able to plug it in you just need to make sure that you line this up correctly because it's not one way fits both ways. So in this case, it would go like that. And just push it up, and there we go. And it would be dangling like that, but that's okay. That's fine. Now, if you have a regular TV, I think the TVs usually have it in the back here. They have the HDMI ports. But if not, it's usually on the side. It would usually be on the side of the screen. Um, and you would just plug it in like that with the extension, or you would just plug it in straight just with the Chromecast itself. In this case, like I said, it's cramped up. I don't have enough room, so I'm going to be using the extender. Anyway, now we're going to be setting it up. We're going to see how the Chromecast actually works. Sorry, guys. Another thing I forgot to mention was you're going to need to take off the tape on the side and it's going to, you're going to get a micro USB and that's going to plug into the USB USB port on your monitor. I'm just going to go grab my cable so in this case because I don't have a USB on this monitor I just have a uh, VGA audio and HDMI which is in use already I'm going to have to use this plug and this is going to give power to my Chromecast but if you do have the USB the U the USB port you know like the regular square uh, I wouldn't say that's a square but if you have that port in the back of your TV then you, can, you would just plug that in and then plug that in there rather than going to a power outlet because your TV will provide power but in this case I don't have that port so I'm gonna be plugging this into the wall that's gonna be my power and I'm gonna line that up make sure that's the right way see that I'm gonna plug that in and now I'm gonna go plug this into the wall and we're gonna go and check out the setup of the Chromecast be right back so once you have all the power set up with your TV, you're going to take your converter and you should have 
a source button on your converter. In this case, I'm not using a converter. I'm going to be using my uh, external screen, which only has one HDMI port. But in your case, your TV has a few HDMI ports, so it needs to know which HDMI port that you're going to be using. So on your converter, you're going to have a few buttons, and one of the buttons are going to be source. And you're going to keep clicking on source and you until you get to the HDMI port that you plugged the Chromecast in. And you should have a screen that pops up that looks like this. Now once you get to that screen, you're going to type in this address. In this case, I am using my iPhone. You're going to type in chromecast.com forward slash setup, and it actually says it on the screen right there. Chromecast.com setup. And I'm just getting into the screen here, and it's asking me to download a, uh, I guess, the Chromecast app. So I'm going to download the Chromecast app, and I will be right back. Now, once you clicked on the available on the App Store button here, right here on your on your screen, your iPhone screen, you're gonna it's going to take you to the App Store, and you're going to download the app. And you should have a Chromecast icon right here on your, well, wherever it is on your screen, but you should have a, cr a Chromecast installed. And you would just click on that, and you're going to accept the terms, without reading them, obviously. That's what we, uh, that's what we do. And now you're going to find, you're going to set up a new Chromecast, because that, you have a new Chromecast. It seems like I forgot to mention a step here. So we're going to go into our settings, uh, Wi-Fi, and we're going to search for the Chromecast. And as you see here, there's the Chromecast. I'm just going to click on that. And now it seems like it's still connecting. And I think it should be good. I, should, I think it's connected now. Now let's go back to the app. Go back to the Chromecast app. And just waiting. I guess it's just booting up or something. Okay, there we're gonna go next. And now change the input on your TV until you see a setup screen with this code on it. And now the codes match up E4L8, and on the screen it's E4L8. So I do see the code, so I'm going to choose in the option that I see the code. Uh, I do live in Canada, so my region is already set. Let's do next. And I guess you get to pick a name now for your Chromecast. So we're going to choose... I'll just choose Chromecast 1. Really original name. Okay, then you're going to do next. And then it's asking for choose a Wi Fi network. So now you're going to choose a Wi Fi network. That's your house. So in my house, it's Tikva. So I'm going to choose Tikva. And I'm just going to enter my password for my wireless, for my Wi Fi. But I don't know what yours is. You've got to find it out. Usually by asking a family member or checking on the router itself. But. I'm going to type in my password and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just typed in my password and now I'm going to click on setup. And now it's setting up. Let's see what's working here now. That looks like they're just updating the Chromecast now. Um, won't keep you guys waiting. I will be right back again, I guess. Hi right, guys, if you have a screen that says this, uh-oh, um, the Chromecast rebooted, so it kind of lost signal, but that's normal, that's fine. The Chromecast is still updating, and uh, I'll be right back as soon as it's done. Okay, guys, so once that boots up and the update's finished, you're going to go into your Chromecast app, uh, you do not need to sign in to Chromecast to the Chromecast app in order for you in order for you to use Chromecast. Uh, you could use it without signing up. Uh, so what you would be doing is you'd be clicking on these this 
button right here, all the way on the top left. And um, just just to show you guys what apps are available for the Chromecast on the iPhone. I'm gonna go into that. Discover apps. Hmm. And then I'm going to go into supported apps. I'm gonna load up the Chrome browser for some odd reason, I don't know why. And it's gonna give me a list of the apps featured new so far I found that I've used a few of these apps I've used CTV go and I found it to be really annoying because of all the uh, advertisements and if you try to try to stop it it just doesn't work so the ones I found that I've actually used were YouTube and Netflix other than that I have not used, uh, I mean, I've not uh, really found anything. I mean, I guess Google Play would be cool because you could watch movies on that too. But I guess the, I think the best ones are uh, YouTube and Netflix. So anyway, I'm going to show you a uh, clip from YouTube just to show you how it works. So after you, after you, when you click on YouTube, it'll, I guess it'll take you to the App Store and you would download it. But I already have it here, so I'm going to show you guys what it's like. Just find a find a quick video, and uh, what you would do is let's skip that ad over here. You would, you're going to click on this. Let me see if you can see it here. Oops. You know what? I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to click on that right there. There we go. No, I guess it's not popping up. Let me see. There we go. So it's right there. And apparently, for some reason... Oh, there we go. Okay, now you're going to choose Chromecast. So you can get two options there. If you can see it, there you go. You're going to choose Chromecast. And now it's going to sync to your screen. And you're going to be able to view it on your screen. Hit him! There we go. And the same thing we with Netflix. This. this won't take a minute. Get down on the floor! Come on, do it! This is actually GTA 5. Everyone on the floor now. Anyway, you same thing with Netflix. Out from behind the counter. That's it. Hands in the air. And now, keep an eye on our trusted employee. Go to okay. the Netflix app. You got the crowd. Got to be and you're gonna have that same icon on top. On the floor. I think the door's ready. Get over here and kick it in, Em. <laughs> I'm sure you guys see that icon right there on top? Not if I get to him first. Yeah. Right. Stay back! We got hostages! Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. I'm gonna ask you if you want to stream it on your iPhone or Chromecast. You could choose Chromecast, and then you got Netflix. We'll start up, and you would click on whichever movie that you're interested in watching. You click it and that that is basically the gist of it that is the Chromecast um, whether or not it's worth it that's really up to you um, I'm not really sure how many apps Android has but that's how it is on the iPhone anyway guys I will be updating my thoughts on the Chromecast uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Until next time. Take care.